Okay, Prince Charles and Queen Camilla, or I guess it'll be King Charles and Queen Camilla. Let's see what that's all about. I hope you like the video. If you do like it, please do like it. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Wow! Cool! Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So yeah, what's going to happen, because she's going to outlast Charles if he makes it to the throne. And so what's going to happen after that? Let's just ask a few questions around that situation. Okay, so these are, again, some amazing cards. The Touchstone Tarot by Cat Black, who's an Australian artist. She lives in on the western, uh, southwestern, I think, part of Australia. But the box is so great, you really feel like you got something worthwhile in that. The instruction booklet is um, is very good, as a matter of fact. It's not in color, but it's got some really good uh, ideas for divination. Tells you a little bit about the artist, so that's handy. And then the cards. I mean, look how beautiful they are. Even just the back is gilding. You can feel that gilding right there. But the front, these cards are not hard to decipher, but they really focus in on the face. Of You'll notice all of these are, you know, from the bust up, from the waist almost up. So they really make you identify with the face when you're trying to make the interpretation. Cat Black is amazing. Um, I don't know how uh, she came up with this, but she came up with some beautiful, beautiful artwork. And all digital. So there's not a painting somewhere that looks like this. Of course, these are made from actual uh, paintings. And, you know, I, I do this so that everybody can look at these cards and maybe you don't get to see uh, kind of different kind of cards. And, um, and this gives you that opportunity. I always wanted to see what the tarot readers were using, what the cards looked like when I was uh, only just uh, being a viewer. So the question I want to ask is, will illness plague Prince Charles as King of England? Will illness plague Prince Charles as King of England? And the fact is that... Um, the stress of a thing can certainly um, become physical manifestations of illnesses. So I want to know if um, illness will plague uh, Prince Charles as King of England. And if that's the fact, then how will the Dowager Queen Camilla be remembered? Okay, but before we do that, let's have just a moment of meditation. Prince Charles. Prince Charles. Bill illness plague. Prince Charles as King of England. Will illness plague Prince Charles as King of England? Six cards. One, two, three, four, five. And six. Illness plague Prince Charles as King of England. Okay, let's see how that shapes up. Signifier card. Well, illness plague Prince Charles as King of England. And the signifier card for this is the Knight of Wands. Okay, so the Knight is the fighter of the Royal Suite, and Wands are action. Okay, and this Knight of Wands has a very prominent big uh, flourishing uh, wand uh, in his hand. So this Knight is Charles, and he's going to fight for the plan. The uh, challenge to that, then, with this Eight of Swords, Swords, Truth, Justice, Rules, and Law, uh, the Eight of Swords is kind of being bound up by those things. And uh, so I'm wondering, and he has been such a free reign as the Prince of Wales uh, and uh, being a little bit uh, controversial in how he deals with the government, maybe uh, in a, in a, with a louder voice than some might think he should. And as king, is this going to be a challenge for him? The base of this reading is the Ten of Swords. Okay, this is the end of a thing. This is uh, truth, justice, rules, and law have been the absolute downfall of this uh, situation here. 
this is, is related. The past of this reading here, with this Eight of Coins, the uh, Eight of Coins is the apprentice. And so the apprentice is practicing his, cra practicing his craft, trying to get it right. But listen, he has been practicing this craft for his entire uh, 70 plus years of life. And um, so um, that is an apprentice who's not uh, learning his job. In the sky of this reading is the Hierophant. Okay, that's the government. So the government uh, is over all of this, and that's what we're just saying, that um, his involvement with government uh, right here is uh, what's kind of been his downfall, will be his downfall, hasn't learned his lesson. And the uh, likely outcome of this is justice. Okay, there will be a karmic balance. Something will happen here to even out this situation and cause a karmic balance. Hmm. And the question was, will uh, illness plague George? It looks like it might. Uh, not George, Charles. Well, illness plague Charles. Now, the next question I want to know, so assuming that the first part is right, that Charles will be plagued by illness, uh, will um, the, the Dowager Queen Camilla, how will she be remembered? And it's interesting that um, there's such emphasis on her becoming a queen, that it's interesting that it would be a short reign no matter what, uh, you know, even, even if it's 20 years, it'll be a short reign, but um, how will she be judged as the Dowager Queen? Six cards. One, two, three, four, five, Sick. And it just occurred to me that if for some reason she went first before Charles, I think they would just do him in. I really do. The signifier card for this is a Camilla as Dowager Queen. How should be remembered? It's a seven of coins. Have you done enough? Coins are value or worth. And this uh, maiden is uh, watering this little sickly looking plant here. And have you done enough? That's the signifier card for Camilla. Did she do enough? The challenge to that then with this six of coins is doling out the value. That, again, coins are value worth. And uh, this uh, person here, this female, is in charge of doling out that value to a lot of needy, greedy hands. And a big pile of, of value on the uh, table next to her. So the uh, challenge to have I done enough is how is it doled out? The base of this reading with this two of coins is finding that balance. Of course it is. The cards are very direct. And in the past of this reading with the page of cups. So the page is the, the person in the royal court who brings an idea to the court, brings a message. He doesn't have the power to do anything with it other than deliver it. And it looks like this message of compassion, which cups are passion and compassion, uh, it, it can be a little bit surprising. So in the past of this, this page brought the idea to the court of, of this compassion with a surprise in it. And in the sky of this reading, the six of wands is victory. The wands are plans, or actions, and in fact, uh, she has been victorious. She will be named queen. And so that's what's writing above all of this is that in her, in her uh, uh, challenge here, in her, um, I don't know that it was actually her battle, but in her effort to be queen, she was victorious. And the, the final outcome of this is now with this page of swords, the very weakest of the royal suite, swords of truth, justice, rules, and law. So this is a weak message of those things. And uh, this page looks very solemn in that. So I think that um, this is how she'll be remembered. She'll be rem remembered for w people wondering, did she actually do enough? Okay. Um, did she dole out her value in the most uh, uh, appropriate way? Um, did she get the right balance? Did she come to the to this position um, with enough compassion, without surprises? And um, although she was victorious in obtaining that uh, title, and then in the, in the end, she'll be remembered as a very weak uh, 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 representation of truth, justice, rules, and law. Interesting. Well, I never know how these cards are going to come out, and this is just as much a surprise to me as it might be to you. So let me know what you think. I'm Mark, My Journey Through Tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now. One, two, three. You really make a big difference. Thank you.